Now it's time to trim our Thinking with Type booklet. Let's start by seeing that the X-Acto knife turn the little nut on the side and make sure the blade is all the way out. When you hold the blade, don't hold it like a pencil. Hold it underhanded so you don't have any chance of cutting yourself. And make sure you always pull the blade toward yourself and never away from yourself. Now here's what we're going to trim. On the bottom, on the edges, are these little tick marks. These little black marks that show where the trim lines need to go. And I like to turn my rulers upside down and place the blade at the bottom on the line and then move the ruler into line. And then go ahead and just do a nice easy draw from the top to the bottom on that line and it'll give you a nice straight edge. We'll do the right side here. Start at the top. I'm not cutting all the way through. I'm stopping before I reach the bottom and that way I only have one piece of trash to throw away. One more cut and we'll have the booklet trimmed and the next step is then to fold it. Okay. Secure the X-Acto knife, throw away your trash, and now the next step is to fold the booklet. And we need to fold this both ways. So I start with a half fold here. And then I fold it the opposite direction because this booklet has a strange little fold that will allow it to act like a little book. Then I fold it in half again, fold it one direction, and then back against itself. And then I fold it the final fold that will give us eight panels. Sometimes you have to adjust the folds after you make them so that they are a little more even and professional looking. Sometimes I might even use the side of the X-Acto knife to crease it. That gives you a really sharp fold. And now that I have all the folds made, it's time to do one more little trim in order that the booklet is able to form and you just go in the very center. You just do the two panels in the center. So let's get our X-Acto knife out again. I always like to start at the bottom, move my ruler into place, and then just make one slice between the middle pieces. And then you make a fold like this. Make a little tent, then flip it over, and then finally go in and align your folds and find the cover. And then adjust it and then you have a nice little booklet with all the pages in the right order none of them upside down and it's a nice little project thanks for watching